up guys uh, today I want to go over some drills um, with putting I'm gonna do some putts from tailwind and show you right now that when there's a tailwind to put a little higher than the basket because the tailwind's gonna drop your disc down uh, pretty significantly um, and these winds right now um, it's kind of what I'm trying to do this because the headwind putt is gonna be extremely hard um, I have disc graph challengers I'm gonna be putting with today and a couple disc graph soft zones um, these are going to be to show the difference of what the disc does in a headwind. So right now the blue putter is set up for 20 feet and the orange putter is set up for 30 feet. And I'm just going to put a couple from each one. And what I want you to realize what's happening in this, in this wild wind is that I'm going to be putting above the basket and it's going to drop the putt down. kind of show you a little bit higher putts. It's going to drop it down. You're really going to see me significantly throw it higher on this 30 foot putt. Um, that's going to show you how much the wind is really dropping. be like uh, probably 35 40 foot putts from back here and these are just going to show you again so 35 40 foot putts from back here this is again going to show you how significantly above the target I'm throwing because the tailwind right here is going to drop that putter right away in the air weird the wind changed and once I noticed it changed I thought I needed the core a little higher and it actually died so that high putt just missing over the edge is when the actual disc itself just didn't drop so let's see if I can get this challenger to replicate in this higher wind that disc to just put above the basket or at the band hard and let it fall into the game reliable you know that your disc is just going to drop headwind we'll go and do the reverse you're going to see the disc get thrown around like a ragdoll a ragdoll so again high putter let, let the disc get pulled down from the tailwind pulled down a lot And that was a grip lock. So now we're going to go over to the other side of the basket and show you what a headwind does in these same exact winds. And that side, I'm going to be putting a little bit to the left of the basket to let that challenger actually get understable in the air as I float it in. And it's going to break to the right. Then I'm going to show you how putting three different soft zones is going to putt exactly normal and be able to fight through that headwind. Okay guys, so we've switched the baskets. We have a ripping headwind. And what I'm gonna show you here is how to putt into a headwind. 
Um, it's one of the hardest things I think to do is confidently putt and know your putter. Um, one of the reasons that I choose to also fight headwinds, I switch to soft zones from Discraft rather than a challenger. Um, the reason being is I can kind of throw it the same way and this over stability of the zone is going to kind of allow you to putt exactly the same and help fight through some of that wind. So right now I'm going to show you seven putts from 20 feet or five putts or seven putts from 20 feet, 30 feet, and then 35 feet. And you're going to see as I get further away from the basket, my challenger that I'm using is going to actually anhyze your back into the basket because this wind is so strong. It's literally just pushing it away. So I'll show you that right now. Sorry about that. Just uh, just trying to make sure I have the camera in the best spot. So 20, 30, 35, 36 feet. And I'm gonna show you what this Challenger does into a headwind and what it wants to typically anhyzer into the back. Okay, so my last two putts hit top band. Headwind lifts your putter. So to correct that, I went a little bit lower, and then you also saw it flutter and hyzer into the basket. So there's this medium in between, once you really get back from 20, where your putter's gonna start really, you're gonna notice it doing a lot of different things. Um, right now, after I putt these two, I'm gonna switch to that headwind putt with the soft zone or the jawbreaker zone from Discraft. And that's gonna show you how you can kind of throw normal, and it's not gonna, toss your putter away uh, around as much so when i get kind of to the back of circle's edge if not a little further away and there's a breeze coming i'm going to disc up in a way at a putter to a higher stability okay soft zones Kind of allows you to putt straight into the chains and this disc doesn't change like a challenger straight in. so i'm going to show you how significant this wind is what it does to challengers and then how this soft zone is going to fight it I'm gonna put three challengers first and then go to my soft zones. So soft zones down. I'm just gonna use three challengers. And watch this disc literally flutter and hand nice. Zone allowed me to actually putt straight it fights the headwind kind of stays on a straight line and lands in the change now I'm going to go back to these challengers from about 35 feet and you're going to see them get manipulated So 
you see those last three, I literally put to the left of the basket just a little bit and low because the challenger is gonna raise up as well as Anheuser in when the wind gets super strong. So that's a little of my putting tips of the day that I'm gonna share with you. Um, again, that's tailwind, keep the putter up and let it drop into the basket and headwind. I would advise you to disc up, either putt with a soft zone, a ringer, something more stable that's gonna fight through the wind, or like a Challenger OS as opposed to my Challenger, and putt lower because the headwind's gonna lift it. And sometimes you may be even cheating it left because you'll notice that your putter's, putter's gonna wobble on an Anheuser towards the basket. Other than that, if you don't wanna run the putt, don't be afraid to lay it up but layups for me are for basketball. Just kidding. But most of the time, I choose to at least get it close to the basket. Thanks, y'all, for watching. Um, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, share, and I'll see you on the next one.